Well, while the markets were plummeting last year, one high-ranking Democrat senator was juggling his investments. Lizzie O'Leary has the details now from Capitol Hill. Lizzie. Deirdre, we're talking about the number two Democrat in the Senate, Illinois Senator Dick Durbin, close to the president. In September, he turned around and sold about $115,000 in stocks and mutual fund shares. And I should point out that the most dramatic sale came the day after that meeting with Ben Bernanke and Hank Paulson up here to work out the framework uh, for the financial rescue package, he sold $43,000 in mutual fund shares, turned around the next day and bought $43,000 in Class B Berkshire Hathaway shares. Figured he could do a little better with Warren Buffett than he had before. Now, a spokesman for Senator Durbin says he was not acting on any private information from that meeting with the Fed chairman and the Treasury secretary, and all the information was made public the next day. I should point out he's not the only member who owned Berkshire Hathaway, according to the Senate Financial Disclosure forms. That's where the information comes from. Blanche Lincoln of Arkansas did as well as did George Voinovich, Republican senator from Ohio. And I should say that Durbin actually lost money investing with Berkshire Hathaway by the end of the year. He had uh, sold about $31,000 of Berkshire shares and taken a loss of about $10,000, Deirdre. Lizzie, I mean, the question here is that it's not a lot of money comparatively. I mean, this seems pretty small compared to some other senators, right? Absolutely. And particularly when you consider that Durbin has been in Congress since 1982, this is not exactly a high paying job. Uh, the Senate salary is $196,000. So he d uh, certainly pales in comparison to the more than 16 senators whose net worth is more than $10 million. And a lot of them have very illustrious names. Cole, Herb Cole of Wisconsin, John Kerry of Massachusetts, Ted Kennedy of Massachusetts. They are all millionaires. Uh, certainly S Senator Kerry has benefited from his wife's fortune. Uh, uh, there are a lot of millionaires up here in the Senate, and that's one of the things that we get to learn when we dig through all those financial disclosure forms that the Senate and the House put out for us, Deirdre. Lizzie, thanks very much. Lizzie O'Leary there reporting from Capitol Hill.